Welcome back. Only three days left till the 91st Academy Awards premieres right here on ABC Columbia. And yeah, movie critic Matt Perrin is reviewing all of the Best Picture nominees before the show begins. Today's film shows Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga teaming up to make some music together in A Star is Born. Welcome to day seven of the Oscars overview. We're almost done counting down and recapping the Best Picture nominees leading up to the Academy Awards airing right here on ABC Columbia this Sunday. Today's nominee is the only one I didn't review during what I'd call the regular season, or more accurately, when it was released, and that was actually on purpose. I like Bradley Cooper and I enjoyed Lady Gaga in her American Horror Story stints, but my problem with this movie is that it was the fourth time being made and re makes are starting to become a little tiresome. But according to the Academy, I was wrong. So let's take a look and see if the statue is in its future. Here's my take on the newest A Star is Born. Our movie begins with Jackson Maine, played by Bradley Cooper. He is a superstar musician with no lack of fans. Of course, he also has no lack of demons, which he keeps at bay with copious amounts of alcohol. One night after a gig, headed to the next, he realizes that he is out of alcohol and stops at a bar for some drinks. There, he sees Allie, played by Lady Gaga. She has a powerhouse voice that immediately sucks him in. He waits for her, and the pair spend the entire night together talking about life. Jack tells her she has an amazing voice and is a gifted song writer but she's convinced that she can never quote make it because of her looks. Jack begs to disagree and invites her to his next show. Despite having no intention of going, she eventually relents upon his repeated insistence. Upon arriving side stage during the performance, Jack tells her to join him as he sings one of the songs she wrote and had sung for him. She fights it, but eventually joins him on stage and brings the crowd to their feet. With a newfound sense of confidence, she joins him on tour, playing and singing along with him as their relationship blossoms and grows. As the movie progresses, we see two types of spirals. We see Allie get a manager and start her own pop solo career. At the same time, we see Jack's substance abuse increase his career dwindling, and his relationships with his brother and now wife Allie suffering greatly. As time ticks by, we see Jack bringing down not only himself, but putting a damper on Allie's career as well. We as the audience, who haven't seen any of the prior versions, wonder what the breaking point will be, and whether Jack will be able to clean himself up, or if Allie will have to leave him behind to save herself. So, what to say about this one? I will say that the first 45 minutes of this movie is definitely Oscar-worthy. The scene where she gets pulled on stage for the first time will give you chills and make you feel all the feelings. If it had ended right there, with a postscript of a happy ending, then yes, perfect movie. But, and here's where I know I'm going to garner a ton of hate mail and awful comments, after that, the movie slows down and is drawn out way too long. I know the story of what happens to them has to be told, but there are scenes that just drag. That being said, the cast is fantastic. Lady Gaga is extremely powerful, and for their limited screen time, Dave Chappelle is great, and Sam Elliott just hits you down in the pit of your stomach. Bradley Cooper is great, and his choice to try and imitate Sam Elliott's voice makes sense in the context of the film, but I just kept thinking he was channeling Chris Christopherson from the previous version. All in all, I enjoyed the movie a good bit, but I feel that it's kind of cheating. It would be like if a couple buddies and I remade The Big Chill, hoping it got the best picture this time. The original version of the film was the first color film nominated for Best Picture. The next two versions were nominated for awards, but not the Best Picture statue. So will this one finally take it? A month and a half ago, everyone would have said yes. As of right now, I think it's a long shot. And that's going to upset my grandmother, so I have to say sorry, Grandma. <laughs> This has been your Oscars overview. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for what I think is the front runner for the award. Back to you. All right, stick with us. Tyler has the last look at that forecast. That's right. The news at noon continues in just a moment.